Hello everyone, and welcome back to quite possibly the final edition of Let's Play Alpha Protocol. I say quite possibly because I'm not quite sure, but there's a strong possibility this may be the final one. <laughs> oh, good old inserting tracking devices, if you know what I mean. This is an automated reply. You've reached Stephen Heck. Inquire, as I'm currently doing things of extreme importance and I'm unlikely to check my email in the near future. Don't despair. I have a large quantity of narcotics hidden in my anus in case I'm buried alive. Oh, heck, you cracked me up, but I really didn't need to read the last bit of that, and I don't think these good people needed to either. Why of all emails did I choose to read that one out loud? I don't know. Okay, I got more than enough first aids to... Get me through the last part of the game, at least I hope so. If I don't, I'm doing something terribly wrong. And enough flashbangs. This is pretty much the last I'll probably... Well, I guess I was going to say probably the last time I'll go shopping. I remember there's one more contact stingy. So I'll probably go shopping after that. Now we have to go contact Sheik Allah Shahid. I don't remember Jack crap about this, because I uh, usually uh, kill him. So, yeah. Meet with Sheik Ala Shahid. Determine what else he knows concerning Halbeck. Enlist his aid or finish your mission by eliminating him and his men. Oh boy. Well, let's see how this goes. I'm sure he's probably not. I'm sure he's probably mad after what I did, and he should be. So. The secret hand of Al-Samad returns, and thick with the blood of its followers. I never should have agreed to your terms. No one was pointing a gun to your head. Well, except me. Do you have what I need or not? You must convince me it is worth the price, I think. And your motivations in this are still unclear. Perhaps you intend to murder me next? I didn't feel like killing you back in Saudi, and I don't feel like killing you now. Trust me, you're more valuable alive. Now, do you want to bring Halbeck down or not? Just Halbeck? No. I think you can do more for us. Such as? You know as well as I do. These events that Halbeck has set in motion, they are not well researched. They are conflicts. And then there are wars. What they have started, it is a fire that will sweep the globe. And that concerns you? When these events will make my country suffer more than it deserves? Yes. And when another may shoulder the rightful blame? Again, yes. Rightful blame. Indeed. Are you prepared to betray your own country, Agent Thornton? When I speak of blame, it is the United States that is the one responsible for these events. I'm not betraying my country, and certainly not for you. Is Alpha Protocol your country? Or is it one of its lies? under the guise of the United States. Halbeck's my enemy, not the United States, or whoever Alpha Protocol claims to be working for. And if they are the same thing? Then you don't understand the situation. I do, more than you, I think. But, you have come for help, or simply to call a favor due. I have information that should be of use to you in hurting Halbeck. Accounts, transactions, and knowledge of their involvement with your program. And of course, the missile codes you asked for. Although I fail to see what use they are to you. That's a start. A start? Yes. I need you to broadcast something for me. I have a suspicion that's going to cause quite a stir where I'm headed. What did you expect me to do? Just shoot him in the head? Oh, sure, I was tempted to because he's asking me, you know, betray your country. No, I'm not doing that. I'm... No. <laughs> I don't know anybody that would, and if I did know anybody, I wouldn't want to know him any longer. Didn't get anything for that. Is there any intel? I doubt there is, but... Alright. Now I'm pretty sure... That's a big old pretty. I'm pretty... Yeah, in game. Who would have thought? <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure this is the end game. But when the big thing saying in-game says in-game, you pretty much know you're right. Now, while I get situated here, because this is going to be a very long mission, I'm pretty sure you get to choose your handler for this, and I know who I'm choosing, for good reason. 
but uh, we'll get into that just in a few minutes. Well, let's do this. Select a handler. Yeah, you can only choose someone who is, I believe, higher than trusted. I think only friendship. Which means Albatross not going to be it. I can't even select him, but it's either Stephen Heck or, or Z. I'm going to choose Z, and you'll see exactly why. As much as I would love Stephen Heck to be my handler, Z has a particular perk, shall we say. So that's what we're doing. Did you take care of what you had to do? Everything's in place. How about you? It shouldn't be much longer. Are you safe? Probably safer than you. Mike, if this doesn't work... Goodbye, Mina. Mind if I sit here? Go ahead. It'll save me from having to call in the squad. All done running? Never was. Yeah, well, whatever you call it, I'm here to bring you in. Glad you're not making a fuss about this. I called you, remember? Infiltrate Alpha Protocol Facility and complete your mission. It's going to take all your skill and probably a lot of firepower, but World War III is the cost if you don't succeed. You've allied with Z, who oddly enough seems like she'll meet you at the location. Rendezvous with her as soon as possible. Hmm. Rendezvous with her, I guess. Hey, I call it something else. Is that what the kids are calling it these days? So, here we are, Agent Thornton. Guess you can go home again. If by home you mean prison. Mr. Westridge first spoke to you in this room, didn't he? Interrogated, actually. It's a really dull conversation. When he asked you why you volunteered for Alpha Protocol, do you remember what you told him? It was my duty. I wanted to serve my country. I want to serve my country. And you think by being assigned here is the best way to do that? Give me a mission and I'll prove it. Does it feel good being a patriot now, Mike? Looking back, everything you did for your country, was it worth it? Because they're not going to do a damn thing for you. They left you out to dry. That's the nature of this place. You'll have to excuse me, but I asked for this next part to be recorded for posterity. I wanted to make sure it's captured perfectly. Do you know what I like most about our relationship, Henry? It's these special moments, you and I, talking about the world. It's really cozy. So when you're asking me if it's all worth it, not yet. But it will be when I look back on this years from now and get this beautiful wave of nostalgia. Never mind then, Thornton. Seems... I'm not done. What I'm gonna remember most is how you thought you had it all under control before this little plan of yours came crashing down around you. All right, Thornton. I suppose you're bored of these questions anyway. Frankly, so am I. So if there's nothing else... In Saudi Arabia, someone gave away my coordinates, tried to kill me. They did it for you. Who helped you? I'm sorry? Who was the mole? Mike, who wasn't the mole? If anyone betrayed you, I think the betrayal wasn't what you think it was. It allowed you to survive, when in fact, you should have died there with Shaheed. And that, Agent Thornton, is the truth. So when you think back on poor Madison St. James, Sung's presidency in danger, the riots in Taipei, cutting off my weapons trafficking in Moscow, and that airliner and its passengers burning to death as they hit the ground, and then you killing the only man who could have testified to my involvement, Ali Shaheed, the truth died with him. I've set the world on a new course, Helbeck's numbers are going to skyrocket. Our technology will be part of every military contract and army in the world. Of course. You've got it all figured out. After all, Leyland, you know everything, right? If this is another one of your bluffs, Thornton, then lay your cards on the table. I can't say I care for that tone of yours. I take responsibility for what happened at the museum. But the way you tried to set Omen and I up in Taipei? I don't think you realized we'd actually talk before we killed each other. 
I know who's behind your weapons trafficking in Moscow. I know about your connection to Surkov and how Breka was set up to take the fall. If you think Shahid is dead, well, just wait until his next video broadcast. Shahid? But you killed him. The missile on the convoy. Oh, the one that didn't kill me, either? Leyland, come on. It's taken you this long to realize you made a mistake? You don't know what you've done. All these plans of yours aren't going to cause a cold war, they're going to cause a real one. And I know that's something you don't want. Spare me your lectures, Thornton. You're a civil servant, while I run a multinational company. Your evaluations of world events... <laughs> please. This conversation has outlived its usefulness, I think. Although, one last thing I'm curious about. Since you have every angle covered, what happened to that footage, Mike? The one of the airliner you had in your possession? It's safe. Oh, you mean with Scarlet? What? You mean safe with Scarlet. That's who you gave it to. I didn't say that. No, she did when we asked. She's here, you know. She was resistant at first, but, well. If you hurt her. I'll have her tortured if I have to. Make no mistake about it. Who knows what sorts of secrets she could reveal. But enough about her. You've lost all your efforts for nothing. You can't stop us. If you say so, who am I to contradict you? You're a confident man, Agent Thornton. But there's no place for you to run now. Soon, all trace of this facility will be erased, and you along with it. After all, it never really existed in the first place. Leyland? Hmm? What is it? You've got something on your tie. Childish. Maybe, but it's a start. A little taste of the humiliation to come. If that's all you've left, Thornton, I overestimated you. Of course you did. See, when all's said and done, you're gonna be the media's next best friend, Leyland. I promise you. Amusing. Not really. Well then, you'd best get to it, Mr. Thornton. You have an hour. I look forward to your efforts. Agent Thornton, allowing yourself to be captured, making us go through the effort of bringing you here. <laughs> well done. I don't like to brag. You have little to boast about, even if you were so inclined. Well, I confess I'm disappointed things ended like this. I was hoping to convince you to work for us. If not Albac, then the BCI. But that would depend on you. Yeah, and I was hoping you might kiss my ass. But it looks like that'll have to wait for another hour or two. That's, uh, very amusing. I don't expect I'll see you again, Agent Thornton. Your mission ends here. Sorry, sir, but we have our orders. When they administer the meds, the end will be quick. Michael, darling. I was wondering why you were tied up, although I have not expected the reason to be so literal. I should have known. Here to torture me? Mm, perhaps. That will depend on your perspective, I think. It is good you have time to rest with all this trouble going on. This bed. Is This is how you woke up here, yeah? The restraints were a little weaker the first time, and I'm not doped up. The restraints? Mm. Are they too tight? Enough with the small talk. Why are you here, Z? I am here because I never got the chance to tell you my feelings. And now you have no choice but to listen. Great. Fine, Michael. I never thanked you. Humiliating Conrad like that. A girl dreams of such things happening to her boss. 
good. If you want to thank me, then let me go. Not quite yet, I think. Michael, I have a, a confession to make. Ever since we met, I have had a certain fondness for you. You are so eager. Okay. Mm. It is a shame to see such a fine specimen restrained like this. I am tempted to set you free. And why the hell would you do that? Out of the goodness of your heart? I do not like Marburg, and he has paid me already. I am free to leave, but you... you are not. Oh, it is not fair. So, I will let you go. In a moment. Relax, darling, but not too much. Oh, and I thought I might have to work harder. You would if I wasn't tied down. Shh. Good. Now, no more talking. Let me go. Mm -hmm. oh, Michael, I unlocked your wrists five minutes ago. You were too busy holding on to your bed to notice. I am flattered. I have done what I must do. Now, you must go do what you must do. Maybe there's something to be said for experience. Hmm. I wonder if the camera was recording. You made it out, I see. Resourceful. You look naked without your weapons. They are in the locker nearby. Get dressed, and let us start the killing. Oh, now you're speaking my language. Much better. Now, you must get to the Global Monitoring Center and get access to the system. And all its secrets. What? <laughs> what the hell? Why did that just happen? Seriously, I was in shadow operative. All of a sudden, alarm. Was there like a motion detector? Pressure plate? What? Why am I in an elevator in the middle of this? Oh dear. Ah. Yeah, this is a very big action sequence. This rest entire game is. Of course, that doesn't mean I'm just going to run right through it all. No, 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 no. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Damn, which one? Last chance, guys. Back up your files. Looks like I've got a message. Big one. What the hell are all these files? Recordings? Agent Thornton, I have been attempting to reach you. Without success. Oh, man. Well, I've been preoccupied. I am calling to warn you and to ask for your assistance. After the attack on President Sung, we analyzed the camera footage from the security systems and from news crews attending the rally. This footage is attached. The woman you were traveling with, Scarlet Lake. Do you know her well? Uh oh. We have several recordings that show her with a sniper rifle at the rally. She was well hidden. But she was unable to mask her presence entirely. She is the one who attempted to assassinate President Sung. Do whatever checks you need to do on the footage. We are convinced of her role in this. She must answer for this. But we have been unable to find her or reach you. I do not believe you had a hand in this, Agent Thornton. And I trust you will do what is right. But if you are responsible, there is nowhere you both can hide from me. Let's move it. Oh dear, that's a hell of a bomb to just drop. Come on, you're not gonna open the door. You expect me to just go up there, open the door, and just yell? All right, fine. 
not that. Whoa. Okay, so Scarlet was the one that pretty much, well, as you heard, she's the assassin. I actually kind of forgot about that, but it wouldn't have changed what I was going, what I would have did anyway. So I'll screw it. Yeah, am I going to do the right thing? Oh, well, what do you guys think? Of course not. <laughs> well, maybe, but I wouldn't bet money on. It. Good lord, man. Oh, Jesus. That is why I like toughness for this. Because there's a, just a ton of crap going on right now. Turrets, everything, you, can, you name it, it's probably here. Oh, good lord. Ah, it's in door number one. Useless.